It's freaking Goki time! Alright, it's not the extravaganza list that you guys wanted from America, but I do have a Goki list for you guys. So, this is Michelle Al Suderi's list, and I believe uh, my notes tell me 23rd place out of the UK extravaganza. The American extravaganza list never got released. So before you're like, I still want it, Robbie. I don't have it, and he won't give it up. So there's nothing we can do about that. So this is a very interesting take on this deck. Skill Drain, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So this deck kind of acts on the same principle as all warrior decks have in their life. Uh, we just are going to Warrior Toolbox through a Sold, and then we get to make Goki Monsters. Huh. What a strange day that we're actually making Goki Exceed Monsters, of all things. So, this is Goki. And this was out of 150 players, by the way. So do with that what you will. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. One copy of Codebreaker, Zero Day. Triple copies of Drone Lockbird. Triple copies of the Fire Flint Lady. Two copies of Guts. Two copies of Headbat, two copies of Octo Stretch, triple copies of Suprex, two copies of the Twist Cobra, and two copies of the Red Lair. Now, interesting enough, we're just playing Durandal as our single equip. You would think that we would be doing some other shenanigans with this, or attempting to do something with this, but we've just straight opted to just play this as our single equip. Which is kind of interesting, by the way, because this could have been Living Fossil, or anything else in that degree. Uh, but the big thing is, I mean, we get the red layer with it. All right, we also have one Call by the Grave, two Cobbs Goki Rematch, one Instant Fusion, one Rota, two Dynamiscus, one Skill Drain, triple Torrential, and triple copies of Trap Trick. Extra deck here, we have one Link Rebo, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, triply sold, two copies of Goki, the Solid Ogre, Triple copies of Goki, the Power Load or Ogre, and two copies of Goki, the Blade Ogre. And then we have one copy of Access Code with one Ragin. Huh. That's interesting. Yield Instant Fusion target. We have triple copies of Lancia, triple copies of Nibiru, triple copies of Gamma, one Driver, one Feather Duster, triple copies of Evenly Matched, and one Red Reboot. Wrapping up Michelle. Uh, Michelle's a very interesting list. Man, I actually... I didn't actually think I would see a functioning Goki deck actually not doing, like, other warrior shenanigans. But it is really nice seeing that we have basically gone back to our roots and we're actually doing Goki shenanigans with our deck. Because the fact that all of these all have the floating potential, you're not going to ever run out of monsters, per se, with the deck. And that's what made this deck so ferocious back in the day was the constant flowing of monsters, the constant triggering with Firewall Dragon. So it is nice to see that they have at least checked this to some degree. Next up is the Infernoid list. So this was Vasalios Kirakaki's, or Kirakaki's list. I am really bad with names. So he also performed top 32 out of the UK extravaganza. And a lot of people were like, Infernoid? Ooh, candy. I absolutely agree with you guys, all right? So, ooh, that's right. We're actually playing Void Apocalypse. And you discard one card, send one fiend monster from your deck to the graveyard. You can send this face-up card from your spell trap cards onto the graveyard. Send infernally monsters with different names uh, from your hand or deck to the graveyard up to the number of monsters your opponent controls that were special summoned from the extra deck. Oh, that's actually spicy. So we can actually just back and drop all of our big guys if we don't see some other stuff. Okay, so we have one copy of Absolute King uh, Backjack, one Scythe, triple copies of Dankatron, two Deviati, two copies of Anoku, Two copies of Seismatus, one Sajet, triple copies of Lilith, one Call by the Grave, one Card Demise. We're actually playing Card Demise in Infernoid. Huh. Interesting. We have one Into the Void, one Layer of Darkness, two Ripple copies of Pod of Duality, two Extra, one Terraforming, triple copies of the Void Apocalypse. Man, this is actually some really spicy tech. I like this a lot. We have one Void Expansion and triple Void Vanishment. We have two Sanctum. Triple copies of Punishment, two Gozen, one Gravedigger's Trap Hole, two Ice Dragon's Prison, one Metaverse, two copies of Torrential Tribute, triple copies of Trap Trick, triple Void Feast, and we have one copy of Void Purification. If you control a monster is not an Infernoid monster, send this card to the graveyard. 
You can only use each of the following effects of void purification once per turn. So during your opponent's sta each of your opponent's standby phases, target one of Infernoid Monster in Graveyard added to your hand. Uh, during each of your standby phases, you can target one of your banished Infernoid Monster returned to the graveyard. Oh, that's actually really good because that's gonna that gives us back our resources. Oh, that's spicy. All right. Extra could we have one Tri Brigade Frigette, one copy of Link Karibo, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Hita, one copy of Gravity Controller, one Chimera, one Equimax, two Equimax, one copy of Flower Cardian Light Flare. Oh boy, all right. We are, uh, we're trucking along here. Uh, triple copies of Tiara and triple copies of Anintis. Side deck here with two Lava Golem, triple Sphere Mode, one Feather Duster, two Void Imagination, two Anti Spell Fragrance, triple Evenly Matched, and two copies of the uh, Heavy Storm Duster wrapping up Infernoid for everybody. It's very interesting. All right. Next up, we have Jack Reed's list from the U.S. Extravaganza this past weekend. Uh, this was the one where 16 players, or well, the Remote Duel Invitational, uh, they got the chance to sit down and play, and it is really nice to see how Dragon Link is constantly evolving as the format's going. Some things might not look great to you on paper, other things you're like, oh yeah. Uh, they've basically adapted the whole Dragon Maid chamber engine. Uh, with the tidings. It's actually kind of sad this has become a sub-engine now. So we have one Apps Router, triple copies of Lancia in the main deck, triple copies of Ash Blossom, one Black Dragon Clap Serpent, one Black Metal Dragon, triple copies of Chamber, of course, one Chaos Dragon Lavinier, one Noctovision, one Brotar, triple Gamma, one Red Eyes Darkness Metal, one copy of Rocket Recharger, two Rocket Synchron, two Rocket Tracer, one Safe Fort, one Wyvern Buster, and one Driver. Spells, we have one Boot Sector Launch, Triple Copies of Chaos Space, one Dragon Ravine, Triple Copies of Quick Launch, and Triple Copies of World Legacy Guard Dragon, with two copies of Tidying, because we're going to have to clean up our opponent's stuff. Actually, this card's really good. Just getting the Dragon Monster you control back to the hand to mess with your opponent on the next turn to force them to play through further disruptions is absolutely nasty. Down here in the extract, we have Triple Striker Dragon, two copies of Heretic Heavenly Spheres, one Pisty, one Opie, one Romulus, one Hauk, one Boral Sword, one App, one copy of the number 68, one Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, one Chaos Ruler, and one Boral Lord Savage. Oh, look, it's Droll and Lockbird, of course. Triple Ghost Bell, two Nibiru, triple Skullmeister, one Feather Duster, and two copies of Lightning Storm, with one copy of Red Reboot. Wrapping up Jack Reed's whole little dragon made dragon link engine for everybody and like i said i do like how the combo variant is kind of slowed down a little bit it's adapting more towards it can still build crazy boards don't get me wrong but this is where we're heading in terms of dragon link hopefully we don't see lp get a collateral hit on the ban list all right last but certainly not least for everybody here this was veto o lion or od lions list man I apologize for any names I butcher in these videos. Um, we actually had a 4-0 Monarch deck get the chance to show up. Now, Monarchs are very, very simple. We're going to make Vanity's Fiend, and we're going to drop March of the Monarchs on the opponent. Super easy stuff. All right? So we have triple copies of Adea, the Heavenly Monarch Squire, or Heavenly Squire. Triple copies of Aether. Triple copies of Eidos. Triple copies of Erebus, one Karaz, one Majesty Fiend, two copies of the Super Quantum Red Lair, triple copies of Vanity Fiend, aka the Wincon, one Call by the Grave, triple copies of Domain, enjoy not being able to special summon, one March of the Monarchs, triple copies of Pantheism, one copy of Return, triple copies of Tenacity, triple copies of Storm Forth, triple copies of Triple Tactics Talent, and one copy of Upstart with only two copies of the Prime Monarch. Prime's definitely lost some value. Our extra deck is completely blank for Domain, because we, we need to be able to uh, lock our opponent. Then we have two copies of Nibiru, two copies of Skullmeister, two Lightning Storm, one Feather Duster, two Droplets, triple copies of Solemn Judgment, and triple copies of Evenly Matched, wrapping up this chunk of deck profiles for everybody. So make sure you guys slam the living crap out of that like button so you don't miss out on more excellent content. And I will see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day for some more cool, awesome content. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Stay safe. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, 
I would probably be doing Drupal Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.